Rounding whole numbers. This can be really useful for a number of calculations, including estimating. If you were given the question, round 12 to the nearest 10, that's exactly the same as saying round 12 to the nearest multiple of 10. Multiples of 10 we recognise from the tens times table, so 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. As long as it's a whole number, with a zero in the ones, then it's a multiple of 10. Multiples of 100 are also multiples of 10, as long as there's a zero in the ones column and it's a whole number. The same with multiples of 1,000, they're also multiples of 10. So as long as it's a whole number with a zero in the ones column, it's a multiple of 10. The easiest way to look at these at first is to look on a number line. We're going to round 12 to the nearest multiple of 10. And on the line, you can see where 12 is in relation to the multiples of 10 either side. Before 12, we have 10. And after 12, we have 20. So they're the multiples of 10 either side of the number 12. And you can see that 12 is nearer to 10 than it is to 20. So when we round 12 to the nearest 10, we get 10. Rounding 17 to the nearest 10, put 17 on the number line. This time, you can see that 17 is further away from the 10 than it is from the 20. Because it's nearer to the 20, we round 17 to 20. 15 isn't quite as obvious, but as long as you remember the rule, it shouldn't cause any problems. You can see that 15 is an equal distance from 10 and 20. The rule with anything that has a 5 digit in the 1's column is that we round it up to the next 10. So 15 rounded to the nearest 10 even though it's the same distance away from 10 and 20, the rule is that we round it up to 20. Here are some for you to have a go at before we move on to some slightly more challenging ones. Pause the video for each one and have a go. Rounding 34 to the nearest 10, put 34 on the number line, and that is nearer to the 30 than it is to the 40. So 34 rounded to the nearest 10 is 30. Try this one. 47, you can see that that's nearer to 50 than it is to 40. So 47 rounded to the nearest 10 is 50. And the last one for this section, round 55 to the nearest 10. 55, again, Remember, that's right in the middle, and the rule is if it's a whole number with a 5 in the 1's column, you round it up to the next 10. So that becomes 60. This works with bigger numbers as well, so 159. The multiples of 10 either side are 150 and 160, and you can see that 159 is nearer to the 160, so that rounds up. Round 286 to the nearest 10. Pause the video, have a go. There's 286 on the line. The multiples of 10 on either side, 280 and 290. And you can see that 286 is nearer to 290. 286 rounded to the nearest 10 is 290. 333 rounded to the nearest 10. There's 333. Either side, the multiples of 10 are 330 and 340. 333 is nearer to 330. 333 rounded to the nearest 10 is 330. Round 685 to the nearest 10. There's 685. The multiples of 10 either side are 680 and 690. 685 is an equal distance from both. 
but remember the rule. If we're rounding a whole number to the nearest 10, and there's a 5 in the 1s, we round up. So 685 rounded to the nearest 10 is 690.